What's up everyone? So today we're going to be setting up the rotisserie. Uh, I feel like it be today, but it's going to be like a series of uh, maybe part one, part two, or maybe I'll just edit this whole video and uh, make it like a long video. But uh, yeah, here's the rotisserie. We'll be setting it up. Uh, the going to be working on the rear right now. Um, I think how I'm going to do it is you have this, which came with the rotisserie. And then I purchased this... Uh, two by two um, square tubing. I think how I'm gonna do it is, since I have to make it all the way down to over here, I'm gonna take this, slip it onto that, and uh, maybe drill a hole into here with a welded nut and a bolt, just like exactly how they have it right here, where they have a welded nut right onto this, and then this bolt kinda just holds it in place. So I'll do the same exact thing with that, um, and then for this section, I actually bought, let's see, it's underneath all this stuff, but it's 12 by 12, uh, 3 8 inch thick, um, steel plate that I'll cut and, you know, we'll mount right to these four bolts right here. Um, so yeah, let's go get started. Alright, so as you can see, I have... This square tubing slipped over this, which is just basically this piece right here. Um, what I'm going to do now is just drill a half inch hole so I can fit. Let me show you guys. Put the, uh, tri set the tripod up real quick. So I have this nut that I am going to weld. Boom, right there with obviously a hole drilled through that. And then this is gonna screw into here and then put pressure up against um, this square tubing so this can't slide, you know, can't slide around. But I'll still be able to take it out, um, adjust it to where I want it. Um, so I think it'll work out pretty good. I'm gonna put two in spaced four inches apart. So maybe I'll put one like right here and then like another one like uh, maybe like right there or something. So let me go drill those holes out. Uh, then we'll get welding these nuts on. So what I'm going to just do real quick is uh, punch a hole right where I want that nut, kind of right in the center here. Uh, this way my drill bit doesn't drift. Okay, and then I will put another one, I measured about four inches from that. Perfect. Right about here. That looks just about centered. Okay, now we uh, now we start drilling. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 on this just to get it going. Um, also, I'm using an eighth inch drill bit, um, and then we'll just work our way up to a half an inch. This one. I found my reamer, so we're just gonna do this. She fits. Oh, beautifully, beautifully, perfect. All right. So first, thing I'm going to do on these holes is just clean them up with uh, some alcohol. Get all the uh, PB blaster off and any dirt and grime and whatnot. Okay, that should be good. All 
All right, so what I'm doing is just taking this bolt, uh, threading it through the nut, just so I know that I'm dead center and this thing's gonna go through every single time. Uh, I also cleaned up the nut with some more uh, alcohol, so uh, I'm just gonna put a couple tack welds in and then I'll screw the bolt. With my helmet this thing. I just had to adjust my helmet because it was like pitch black. Alright, now I'll just finish up all the welds. Let's do the next one. Let's keep going. Now let's see how I did. There we go. Flips on. Make contact. Let me give it another bolt. Okay. Then you tighten her down. Not get too tight, but we'll get kind of tight. Okay. And now, she won't budge. Perfect. All right, sweet, that worked. And it turned out pretty good. So now, uh, I'm gonna go do the other side right now. All right, so this side's all welded up. Um, I think the next step now, is to go make the plate that's gonna fit onto right there. So uh, let's go do that. All right, so we just picked up my nephew TJ. Say hello. They didn't pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
Let's get started on tracing out these holes. You wanna hold that? Yeah, hold it. Look at that. I haven't got a cameraman. So how I'm gonna do it is just trace out this piece of paper. And just that light's hot. Find that hole. This is how he traces. Find this hole. Get my hand dirty. I'll find this hole down here. Y'all see that? You don't need no sharpie. Oh fuck. Where's this hole? It's around here somewhere. Where you at? You don't need it. Yeah, I got it right there, see? Don't you look at that. Look at it. You see that? Alright, so now. Now. <laughs> uh, now we'll go put this on to uh, this piece of metal down here. Punch some uh, holes and then get drilling. Okay. Alright, so what I did is just put this piece of paper on here. Um, and then I'll just punch out the holes and then we'll get drilling. So I'll try to get it right in the center. Oh, that was so hard to hit your hand. Thanks, kid. Anytime. Look at that. Oh, Okay, so there's our four holes. <laughs> our blooper time. How you doing? Put the All right, kid, time to drill. I ain't drilling. Hey, it's already <laughs> recording. And you look stupid. Ah, it's recording. Oh, look at that. Time to drill. That's <laughs> normal. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want me to spray it while you do it? No, I got it. it just needs a little bit. Drilled, now I'll go up a size. Wow, would you look at that? Alright, so all bolts line up. Next thing that we're gonna do is just we'll take this piece of metal and weld it up right like that. Um, I'm gonna extend this out a tiny bit so that this can go right there. Um, so, yeah, let's go get welding. All right, so what I'm just gonna do real quick is just clean up these bolts so when I put those plates in, uh, these will thread in nice. All right, so upon further looking at these, I don't know if you guys can see under the light, but all of these threads are uh, pretty fucked. So we're gonna go to the hardware store, get brand new ones, and uh, yeah, hopefully they'll thread in nice. Alrighty. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is just, uh, I got this tap. I'm just gonna retap all the holes, just clean them out a little bit. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier for us later on. Let me get this out of the way.
this one. All right, so we just went to the hardware store. We got all new bolts. Um, they threaded in by hand perfectly because we tapped everything. So uh, next we're just going to line everything up and mark out where we're going to weld. And then we'll uh, get welding. What? All right, so we just uh, stenciled out where we want this tube welded to this plate. Uh, so we're going to take off this plate and then we're going to get welding. Look at that kid. So I swelled this up, just tacked it along, did a nice speed right there. Uh, TJ is going to have a go nice. at doing the next speed right across right here. Um, so uh, I'll videotape that. All right, so we just finished up welding. Um, next up is I am just gonna hit this with some spray paint just so it doesn't uh, rust up immediately. Look at it it's boiling. <laughs> nice. This side. All right, so we just did the other side, uh, nice and welded up. Look at those dimes I just laid. Just kidding. <laughs> but not too bad, not too shabby. Not All right, too now uh, shabby. TJ's gonna go do this side right now. So the back of the rotisserie is all set. We got everything lined up, tightened up. Um, now what we're gonna do from here is uh, work on the front and then we'll be all done and ready to twirl this baby 360. All right, so the back is all set. Now we're working up on the front. The uh, sketchiest little thing in the world. Sketchy getting up here because, let me show you guys. Well, as you can see, the rotisserie started rotisserying in the back and this thing's a little cockeyed and we got one jack under there holding this whole thing up and uh the only other thing holding this whole thing up is uh our welds so let's hope our welds hold let's hope the rotisserie holds let's hope our jack holds let's hope our frame holds let's hope our frame holds <laughs> uh wish us luck next thing i'm gonna do is just take the front pieces and do the same exact thing that we did with these back pieces, weld these nuts on with these uh, bolts. Uh, and then we'll put it on, we'll put it on. We'll on the front right here. And then we'll attach this with a frame plate right to this section. Um, so let's get going on that. I forgot to record this part, but I made a template of under there. You can't see it, but made a template of that. Uh, already punched my holes. Now we will drill them out and see how she fits. So this template, this one foot by one foot square is too big for the area that I'm putting this in. So I'm just gonna cut right along that line right there and um, it should fit after that. So I'll update you guys afterwards. Let's 
so as you guys can see, this fits pretty good. And you can see my little cut section right there. Um, so I'll just take this back off, use it as a temple for the other side, and uh, then we'll line everything up, trace it, and then uh, we'll weld it all together. So as you guys can see, I have this on here. I draw a little diagram showing all the dimensions that I need to um, make all these adjustments, basically this adjustment right here and same on the other side even. Um, what I'm going to do is um, just mark all this up, take everything apart and then uh, weld it up and the rotisserie should be done. Um, I just gotta go buy another jack because the other, I only have one of these. My jack stands aren't tall enough. I need to jack up the other side a little bit more. Um, so I'm just getting another jack so I can jack it up nice and even. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head to the store and I'll update you guys afterwards. Alright, so I set everything up. Now it's time to weld. There you have it. There's the weld right there. Oh, those ones came out pretty nice. Um, I just gotta do the uh, edges. Do this side. Oh, there's my finger. Do that side, then do the back side. Um, so let's get doing that. Man, I love welding. It's just like, I'm a woodworker. Well, sort of. And uh, man, using wood glue, it takes forever to glue. You metal workers have it easy. All you gotta do is freaking press this button and you're freaking, all your metal's glued together. Focus. Focus. Why is it not focusing? Whatever. Ah, 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 sorta. Of. Alright, this is the uh, the driver's side that we're doing now. Uh, let's get welding. I need like a fan here. I'm breathing all these fumes in.
with this section, I kind of went more straight on. And with this section, I kind of pulled. So I think with this, I'm going to try to push and see if it makes a difference. You can kind of see these are more um, rounded off, and this is uh, when I pulled it and made it more flat. So let's try to push and see what that does. So that's straight on, that's pushing, I'm oh, sorry, that, that's pulling, and that's pushing. So kind of straight on, pulling, and then pushing. Kind of cool. How it really makes a difference. I think what looks the best is kind of when I do a little straight on, but when I do straight on, I'm not actually like exactly straight on. I kind of angle it a little bit so it's not really pull it's not really straight on it's kind of like in between um, but I think that's definitely the best so I'm gonna do that way for the rest of it I think that gets the best penetration and uh, the strongest welds so let's keep going All right, so she is mounted in the back and she is mounted in the front um, alright, let's freaking uh, try this out. I'm a little scared, because, uh, I don't know, uh, hopefully my freaking welds hold. Alright, let me see, so I'm going to be turning this handle. <gasps> oh my god. You guys see that? You guys see it freaking turning? Oh, it's so scary. Oh. My. God. Alright, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to go grab my wife, have her videotape this, and put it back to center. And, uh, we'll try to flip this baby all the way around. Well, on its side. I don't want to do a full upside down just yet. Plus, I got to take, um, I got this, um, garage door opener that doesn't even freaking work. I just open and close this thing by hand anyway, so I'm going to take that out so I have more headroom. Uh, and then once this garage door is closed, I have up into those beams up there, which is about eight feet. So I have about two and a half feet on top of this to go. So I think we can definitely do a full turnaround with this, you know, once the garage door is closed. So, uh, yeah, let me go grab my wife and we'll, uh, try some stuff out. All right. So I grabbed my wife to videotape. Let's pass thing out. Battery exhausted. Battery just died. All right, so my battery died, but check it out. This thing is completely freaking sideways. Let me uh, see if you guys can see this. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Now I can like work on like everything. I can do the brake lines, do all the wiring, um, repair all the rotted um, outriggers, everything. So this is pretty cool. Um, it's super easy. You guys can't see because it it's dark, but super easy to turn this around. Like, look, now I'm bringing it back. See this? And it's super controlled too. I'm trying to go slow. You guys should have seen the amount of rust that came off of this when uh. <laughs> when I tipped it upside down, or tipped it on its side, it sounded like a freaking avalanche. You can still kind of hear a little bit of it. But, uh, yeah. Look how close I am to the top of my, uh, my ceiling. The only thing that sucks about this is, uh, I can't open up my garage door, because when my garage door comes up, it doesn't have enough room for clearance right there, so... I have to figure something out for that. I mean, I can open it up slightly. I'll show you guys. So I can open it up slightly, but then it hits right there. So 
you know, just let some air in out. I can put some, uh, like a block of wood to hold this up. Um, so yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do is after this is start repairing some of the frame pieces, uh, or maybe just paint for now with that core seal stuff that you saw in my last videos. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe.